Good morning, Orchard STEM. This is Mr. Hoytick, your art teacher. Today we are going to draw a Gulf Stream jet. We're going to start with one line right down the middle of your paper. Very light. Right there. Next we're going to add this rectangular shape. And so, right there, right about there, oops, let's get that out of there. And then the rectangle gets thinner at the top. And just like that. Next we're going to draw two long triangles from the center line. Oops, so I line up my ruler right about in the middle. And we'll go right about here to about here. I'm measuring from the three to the nine and six inches in the middle. Next, we'll connect to the center line. We're also going to make a triangle up at the top. And let's see, about half an inch on each, each side. Now let's stretch that. Oh, just a little bit more. There we go. And we'll make two triangles. One there. Now next we're going to trim the edges off of those triangles. So right about here. And I'm going to freehand these I think. Right about there. Right about here. Right about here. About halfway down the block in the front begin to shape a pointed nose. Right about there. Soft flowing angles up to the point of the plane. Right about there. Next. I want to add a couple of lines. One to there. One to there. Oops. Let's try that again. Oh, sorry. And right about there. I'll take it. And also on the tail. From about here. side. Line them up, draw them in. Next, at the back of the plane, let's add some curved areas for the back. Also, almost touching the plane, let's get a couple of circles. Let's make them cylinders. And so two Parallel lines and a curved line at the top. Right about there. It's going to be the jet engines. All right. Next. 
each edge of the wing, you draw a small line up, and it turns out being a triangle. If you want to use a ruler, feel free. I like freehanding little details. Next. I want to trace and eliminate some lines. Right there. Right there. Okay. Then we want to go ahead and eliminate. We can eliminate the lines now. Nice. Let's connect the jets with the body of the plane. Let's make part of the tail on each side. I can see some things I had were off square, and so I'm just going to try to make the best of it. Let's make the front window right about here. The front window will curve down like a smile. On the other side of it, we can draw a little horizontal line, a curve on the bottom. And now here, we'll break the glass into different parts. And there we go. Now I have a few more details to add. One here. I'm going to use a ruler again. And we're going to go ahead and get an angle line to the top. And on the right side. to the top. Yeah, right about there. Extra line in there. So, let's start rounding out the front. All the way to the back. Take out some of these extra lines. Now, Gulfstream is a small jet. Seats about 19 people. Take out some of these extra lines, and then trace the lines you like. You can use a ruler if you want. I like to freehand. Put this here. Let's see, add right there, add right there. Uh, this actually comes out. So, I like this line, and I like this line. All right. The windows in the front, you should shade a little bit. this out of here. Some of these extra lines. These are extra lines here as well. Let's add some shadow on the left side. Stream. And so add some shadow on the wing. We'll add a little bit on the right side, but not as much as the left. Also, the cylinders get some extra 
shadow on each edge. And shade in the jet turbines. And I'm going to shade a little on this side of the left wing. And I'm going to also shade a little on the right wing. And a little bit here on the bottom of my right wing. And anytime I have a kind of a messy line, if I want to straighten it out, right there, no worries. All straightened up. you go there's our Gulfstream jet coming right at you please try to draw one at home take a screenshot or photo with your device hope you have a great day thanks